hi welcome back to therapy designs if you're new to this channel my name is kelly and this channel is all about creating print on demand designs using canva so if that is something that you're interested in please do stick around so in today's video i'm going to show you guys how you can create this design right here now this is an awesome really fast and easy one to create there is no graphics, so it's just text, which is awesome. And most of the fonts are just really straightforward, easy fonts. So it's one of those ones that once you get the layout, you can scale this out dramatically. So if you'd like to learn how you can do this, go ahead and stick around. Okay, so here I am on Canvas home page, and I will be showing you guys how to design for a t-shirt today. So we're going to go ahead and start by going to the right hand side of the page where it says custom size. And we're going to go ahead and select 4500 by 5400 pixels. Now that should pull up a nice blank page for you guys. I do prefer to design for the darker color shirts because those do tend to sell better. So with that in mind, I'm just going to go ahead and set my background color here to black. Now this is a really easy design. This is going to be my take on some of those definition shirt designs, which are great and easy to scale. And, you know, once you kind of get uh, a hold of the style and how to do it, it can be, you know, a very fun one that let's face it, there are zillions of words and you can come up with your own funny definition for any of those words. Just be sure that you don't run into any trademark issues. But this one is going to be a kind of a mother's definition shirt, which is great, again, for mom for any occasion. Mom's birthday, Christmas, obviously Mother's Day coming up, a new mom, um, anything you can think of, really. So we're just going to go ahead and do this mother definition. Now, this is going to be my take on it. So I am going to... Um, do a little bit of a scripty font with the mom, but then the rest of it is going to be more of that classic dictionary style layout. And so the first thing I'm gonna do is just pull up a text box by hitting T on the keyboard, and then I can go ahead and just write mother. Now this is a simple design because it's all text, so I don't even have to worry about graphics. And once I get the layout good, I can use that layout moving forward again for any number of these design styles. So let's go ahead, start with mother and pull up another text box. Now here is where we're gonna have sort of the pronunciation that you would usually see. So that starts with a bracket, right? And it's usually gonna be in lowercase. So mother. And you can get some of this straight out of like the dictionary or if you were to just sort of look this stuff up. Is there a reason that didn't do that? There we go. Um, or of course you can create your own. Nobody says it has to be exactly as it is, but they're mother. And then it'll also say noun, verb, whatever. And so we're gonna go ahead and put noun. And so this would be then sort of your second line. Pull up another text box. Here you would have the definitions. If you have more than one definition that you're listing, you just go ahead and number them. Sometimes you just have one definition. Sometimes you have multiple definitions. So let's go ahead and put one period space. Here's where we're going to go ahead and put our definition. And usually it's something funny. It's usually not 100% of the exact you know, definition given in the dictionary, as opposed for some things it could be, but the point of these shirts is usually to be funny. And so I did copy this off of another niche. Um, and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put, oops, one. I really have to space that out so we've got lots of room. So it is going to be one person who, and we're gonna have to shrink this down by the way, cause it's obviously gonna go way one person who, let me shrink it way down so I have lots of room and then we can resize it at the end later. Um, so I'm going to put does the work. And we're going to go ahead and spread that out. So I want it to be small enough that all of that is going to fit on one line. Enter. Ooh, of many for free. You also want to change. So oh, right now it's obviously it's centered. So I want to change the alignment. Perfect. There we go. So now I've got the alignment the way I want it. And so that looks pretty cool. 
And so from here I can hit enter again, it's going to pull up the number two and I can just keep going from there. And so the second definition is going to be uh, someone who uh, loves, who sees the best in their or her, because it's talking about a mom, uh, kids, um, oops, sale, even when they drive her crazy, period. Someone who sees the best in her kids, even when they drive her crazy. And here's where I'm going to have to make sure that I get all of these lined up right. I can use my rulers and guides if I need to. Okay. So sometimes it can be a little bit frustrating, by the way, when we're doing these numbers, because it automatically wants to format it the way it wants and not the way that you want. And so you may have to play with it a little bit. At some points, I may make these each individual lines instead of just having this be one grouping. I might just do one text box for each definition if I'm starting to have difficulty. But what we really want is for it to be lined up something like this. This is how I like it lined up. And so I've got another definition here. So I'm going to go ahead, hit enter again. We'll take two and see if we can get this going and I'm going to try to get that lined up where I want it and then this is going to say unconditional love right there and so that looks pretty cool I think that that's all lined up good and once I have that the way I want it then it's easy to go ahead and just sort of resize like that however I like and then I'm going to pull up one more text box down here and the bottom text box is going to say, uh, see also, right? You know, I'm going to have to shrink this way down too so that I can make it fit. See also, shrink way down, space way out. Here we go. What we've got going to be super, oops, superwoman. Um, saint, hero, so something like that, and so you can see the way that that is already looking, it looks really cool, and I haven't even finished with, you know, getting it all the way I want it, so now that I got the words in, in, you know, in place, I can go ahead and get my layout right. And then, of course, from there, you can always then scale this out however you want. So for mother, instead of doing just the total traditional style, I am going to go ahead and make mother something cool because, you know, women like to wear um, shirts that have the little, you know, fancy text or font on it. And so I went ahead and went with one called, let's see if I can find it. Okay, it is called uh, Perry Scene. Cyan, I don't know. I can never say these right. It's this one. <laughs> and so I liked it. It was a little bit scripty, but still easy to read because you do want it to be easy to read. I can make it nice and big so it flows across the page there. And then what I was going to do was take this and actually shrink that down so that it fit kind of here underneath which may require me to make the mother a little bit bigger so the mother goes sort of side to side that is going to fit very nicely in there and so I like the way that that looks I'm going to take my definitions by the way and bring those up a little bit oops and here's where I'm kind of want to space everything to make sure that it looks nice because i've got these numbers here it's sort of pushing everything over to the right so that it's not going to look totally centered so you may have to shift it a little bit more to the left that way the definitions look more centered even though the letters may be slightly off to the right so i like the way that that looks more and then i've got my c also down here and so that I like. Here is my mother definition shirt. Now, when you do go ahead and um, 
post this. You do have to be careful with the words and the SEO that you use. Obviously, this entire definition has not been trademarked, but certain words like mother by itself has been. So when you write your title and tags, you have to be careful how you phrase things so that it doesn't, you know, get rejected for trademark infringement. So if you were to just put mother, that would be trademarked. You can't do that. Um, I put mother definition and that kind of went through um, things like if you put superwoman, that is probably trademarked. So you can't just put that. So be careful in the way that you phrase it. You could put, you know, mom design for Mother's Day or mom definition, you know, for Mother's Day. And then that might work well so that you don't get flagged. But always be careful about those kinds of things. You don't want to get rejected for a design if you're not careful with your trademark checking. And because I do know Mother by itself is trademarked, you, you know, you got to be careful to make it known that this is not just a shirt that says mother, but it's a mother definition. Anyways, so this is great for Mother's Day or for, you know, mom for any time of year. And now that I have this sort of laid out, I can, of course, you know, reuse the template and, you know, put anything that I want in here. And so you can scale this out for just about any word that you can possibly think of that you can come up with a funny definition for or a sweet definition for or anything else. Um, if you have questions about this, drop it in the comment section below. I'll try to get back to everybody as quickly as I can. If you have video requests, you can put those in the comment section below and I'll try to get you added to my list. I hope you guys are doing really well with your sales. I hope you're being creative and coming up with lots of different, um, you know, designs and design styles. Um, keep in mind that next month we've got Cinco de Mayo, we've got Mother's Day, we're looking at things like um, Kentucky Derby coming up really soon. Um, graduation and the beginning of summer is going to be coming up really soon. So these are all things that you can be working on now. And um, anyways, I hope you guys are doing great. Um, probably another month or so, I'll come up with the list for th third quarter niches. And so you can look for that probably in about a month. And... I hope everything is going great and I do hope to see you guys again next week. That's it for today's video. If you found that useful and would like to see more videos with helpful tips and tricks, be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative and we'll see you next time.